Hey guys, so in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to get this Pamela Anderson Smoky Purple Eye. I'm using one eyeshadow quad and it's from Wet n Wild and it's their color icon quad in Lust. These things are so so nice. They come with three matte shadows and three shimmer eyeshadows and they're so so pigmented like I swatched one on the back of my hand and there's no base and now it's stuck on my finger. So I really really recommend getting one of these if you can. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. It's not pretty. It's not glamorous. It's a sexy, sexy eye. With an angled, fluffy brush, we're going to contour our face because we want a really like sexy bone structure, like really defined cheeks. So I'm going to grab some of that color, make a face like this, and you want to start towards your ear and blend it downward. You want most of the color to be right near your ear and then fade as it gets closer to your mouth. And then you also blend the color up towards your temple. Get a loose face powder, one that's more on the white or yellow side, and apply that heavily, like with a heavy hand, on the top of your cheekbones, down the bridge of your nose, and the center of your forehead. And this is going to give you a really, really nice highlight. So first you want to apply an eyeshadow base, and I'm going to be using from NYX, their Jumbo Pencil and Milk. Usually you don't really want to use this as an eyeshadow base, especially for a smoky eye, where if it creases it's going to be noticeable. It's just that I lost my Urban Decay Primer Potion. So apply that all over your eyelid and across your lower lash line. You're going to apply that color to your brow bone, and this is going to be our highlight. Apply that color to your crease, and then blend it up toward the brow bone. Apply that deep purple color on top of your lid and then blend it right, right into the crease. Don't blend it upward, just try to stick right into the crease. Apply the same color just at the end of your lower lash line. If you have a little bit of lid space and you're trying to get more than just two colors inside of your crease, like now, you know, we have three different colors and for you it's hard to do more than two, you're going to want to use an angled brush. It doesn't matter if it's a stiff angle brush or if it's um, a, a full fluffy angled brush, it doesn't really matter. You just want to use an angled brush. That way you have more control over where the color is going and how you're blending it. Because if you're using a like full blending brush or an eyeshadow brush that is too big when you're blending the color is going to drag up all the way to your brow bone and then like especially if you're using a darker eyeshadow it's going to look like you have a huge eyebrow you don't want to do that so I'll give you an example pretend this is my eyebrow and if I use an angled fluffy brush I have control over where it's going to go okay and when I'm blending it I have control okay if I use a big old blending brush when I'm putting this color in, the bristles are hitting my eyebrow. And you don't have that much control. So again, try to use an angled brush. You're going to be applying that color right over that dark purple, just on the eyelid only. Eyelid only. Place that silver right in the middle of your lower lash line. 
So if you're trying to go for like a really true Pamela Anderson look, you're just going to drag that silver or the black, um, purplish black color just around your tear duct. But if you're like me and your eyes are really, really dark, my eyes look almost black. They're not like, oh, they're brown, but and you can kind of see the brown. No, they look black. So I don't like to cover my whole eye in just black eyeshadow because it tends to make my eyes look really beady. If you have green or blue eyes or lighter brown eyes, the colors like complement each other. They look nice against each other. But when you have like a dark eye like me, it's like they're fighting for et for attention. It's like the black eyeshadow and your black eye are fighting for attention and they tend to make your eyes look really beady and like demonic. So I just want, I don't want to apply, you know, black all around my eyeshadow. So instead I'm going to grab the two colors, woo, the two colors at the top and I'm just going to blend them together like this and I'm going to dust that around my tear duct and instead the smoky eye for me won't be as harsh and in my opinion it's really just going to make my eyes pop Pamela Anderson usually lines her waterline with a black eyeliner pencil and again this is my theory if you have dark colored eyes you don't want too much black so I'm going to be using a white eyeliner which is going to make my eyes pop out so much more than a black eyeliner would. A black eyeliner is going to close my eyes, a white eyeliner is going to open up my eyes. If you have again lighter color eyes use the black because it's really going to make your eyes just stand out. Apply a liquid eyeliner to your lash line. Apply mascara to your top and bottom lashes. No matter what color your eye is, where you do want to apply black eyeliner is to your tight line which is right there right between your eyelashes and you want to apply it there because nothing kills a smoky eye more than when you've got skin showing through now dust off the highlighter and you see it leaves that really pretty highlight and this is from Ulta it's called heartbreaker and it has some shimmer in it so it really gives a glow to the skin and this is more like on like a darker baby pink ish peach which is it's really nice and I'm just gonna be applying that to the apples on my cheek and just blending it out so anyways what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be grabbing from NYX their concealer this one isn't so I'm gonna be grabbing from NYC their concealer in medium and I'm just gonna apply that over my lips use my finger to blend it out. Now I'm going to take a lip liner and line my natural lip line. Now there's two ways that you can do the Pamela Anderson lip color. She does in two ways. Previously, like nowadays, she's doing more on the nude side. But back then, in the 90s, she had frosty pink on a lot. It was like frosty pink lip gloss, frosty pink lipstick. So you can go for one of the two. So if you're like my skin tone and you just did like the NYC concealer thing, you could apply a lip gloss over that. Just a regular nude clear lip gloss right over that. And this is from Revlon. It's their Beyond Natural Lip Gloss. Or you can apply, if you want to do more the 90s style, a frosty lipstick and this is from NYC and it's called Sky Pink. I think I'm going to be doing the old Pamela. So I'm just going to apply this lightly over my lips. And then over that I'm going to apply the lip gloss from Revlon. She wants to say hi again. She's scared. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial and take care. Bye.